Hey, it's Austin with Austex Landscape. Today, I went and got the mail like I do <clears throat> every day. I was going through uh, checks and stuff that had come in, and I got a check from a vendor, and I entered it in on my QuickBooks, and found the vendor, and opened up their account, and I actually didn't show that I had any open invoices from them. It's a, a national vendor that had inquired about work and services on some properties that we never ended up doing anything on and we didn't, we've never worked for them. But they sent me a check in the mail, sent me a check for $225 and it has the uh, invoice numbers on there and it has the like kind of like a date of service code type thing on there and um, this this has probably happened um, before but it's, it's very rare but so you know it's um, it's something that you know I would say that the vast majority of people in this world they receive a check from somebody for money that's written to them with their name on it. And if they find out that it's not a legitimate thing, it's not something that's actually theirs, it doesn't matter. 99% of the time, they're gonna race off to the bank <coughs> and they're gonna cash that check, they're gonna deposit it, and they're gonna act like nothing ever happened. And they're gonna just take that money. You know, it's they, they think that it's not their fault that this company made a mistake and sent them money. You know, it's not it's not my fault that they messed up and they sent me, you know, a check. But it's obvious that it's wrong to go and take money from somebody, to receive money from somebody that's not yours, that you didn't do anything for. Just because this check has my name on it and it has money made out to me and my company and it is a vendor that I have talked to and I've had you know communication with just because they decided to send me money doesn't mean that it's my money okay people make mistakes every day I make mistakes customers make mistakes everyone makes mistakes okay but I actually look forward to opportunities like this that I can call the company, which is what I did, and told them that you know I had received a check and I believe it was on accident and that it wasn't my money and it's probably supposed to go to somebody else that actually did this work or they had some type of a problem. And the person on the other phone, um, his name is Quentin, and this company is called Facility Source. They're out of Phoenix, Arizona. I personally don't know uh, much about this company, but I will say that Quentin was very nice to me on the phone, which most of the time people are pretty nice whenever you're calling them, telling them that you know somebody sent, sent money from that company on accident and you got it. And so he was really nice. He looked into it. I gave him all the information off of it and he wants me to mail the check back to him and they're gonna, you know, figure out what's going on. But, you know, the, the guy was really, really nice and he thanked me for doing this. And I told him, I said, go on to Google and give me a five-star review and tell people about this. Because there are tons of people out there that are crazy and do all kinds of crazy, ridiculous things and will accuse me and other people of terrible things that are not true. And whenever we do something like this, that is honest, that is good, we would like to be able to let people know about that. And so he said, yeah, I would be happy to do that. You know, absolutely. What is your name? What is your this and that? And like, I will go and do it right now. And I appreciate him doing that because it's, there's not a lot of people in this world that are 100% honest and trustworthy and good. And when you even come across somebody that is very honest and very good, 
you need to go out of your way to go and give good reviews to them and let people know. That's the thing. I don't really like to give bad reviews because I just don't like to talk bad about people. I don't like bad karma. If somebody really messes me over, like terribly, then yes, I will go and give them a bad review. Um, I've given hundreds of reviews online and I've probably only given like two or three bad reviews. And literally those bad reviews were people that like really did terrible stuff to me to mess me over. And I even warned them ahead of time, like make this right, take care of this, don't mess me over and I will not give you a bad review. But if you choose to mess me over and you choose to do all the stuff that you're doing, then I will go and I will bad review you. And the people that don't change their ways and don't do what they need to do to make things right, then yes, I will go and bad review them. But most of the time I give good reviews. I give five star reviews every day almost. And it's because I feel like even whenever people aren't doing the greatest thing ever, if you give them a five star review and you are nice to them, it will even make them a better person. It will encourage them to be better and to do better. And so, I don't know, I think that this is just kind of a, a good example of kind of a weird situation that can be turned into something that's very good for, for me and for you know this company and for everybody. So just, you know, next time, you know, you find money on the ground or somebody sends you a check on accident, try to go out of your way to find the owner of that. Try to figure out where it needs to go. And I don't know, I think that you will be pleasantly surprised how good it feels. And a lot of times the money that you stumble upon is really not going to do anything for you financially. It's not gonna help you out you know, some crazy way. And the benefit of just good karma and just doing good things for people is a lot better than the actual, you know, thing that you might have stumbled upon. So, yeah, hope you'll have a great day. Peace.